Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just want to show off how to get the commander's outfit and all five pieces, well, three pieces plus the two pieces for the colors scheme. So you want to head to Jeddah and head to this meditation point I just showed you now and head across straight to the left, across this ridge. And you just jump across here, all the way across. And then you'll see like a little, um, like a little elevated uh, ridge just in front of us there. You'll see a box, you can see the box just there. So that'll be the commander chest piece. So we'll jump up and grab that now. Let's just get that first. Okay, open up the chest box and you'll get your first piece of the commander outfit. So we'll just equip that now. So this is the breastplate and pauldrons of a high ranking warrior whose name and battles are lost to time. So it looks pretty dope. I definitely um, recommend this one. I like this one most. <laughs> Actually, the whole outfit I like most. Okay, you want to head on to the Arid Flats meditation point to get the next piece. Once here, you just head straight on over to the uh, the chest box here. I've already opened it up and then you get your pants in this one or uh, materials, however order you do it in. It actually changes whether or not you've got your pants first or the chest piece first. So this is what the pants look like. So the greaves and the half skirt looks pretty good. So once that's done, that's the second piece of armor completed. Okay, we want to head back to Kobo now. So this is in between the uh, Pylon Saloon and where this is where the Mantis is. And this is uh, Pylon Saloon is just there. And this is Doma's Outpost Commodities. So we're just in between the two places here. So we'll just head into the shop now. And then once we're in there, we want to head up to Doma's uh, little puck there on the table. All goods acquired completely and then once you're here, you got to have, you want to go down, go down first. And... There it is there, the commander's shirt. So it's super easy to get this one. You just got to pretty much buy it with the Pryrite shards. So that's a, that's probably one of the easiest ones to actually get is um is just having the Pryrite shards for that and then you equip it. Pretty much done. Okay, next you want to head to the Visid Bog and you want to head to the meditation point, the Hangar Rafters. So that's here just on the map here. So once you're here, you'll see in the middle there, you can get a little BD to use his new ability to shock it. If you progress far enough in the storyline, you'll probably have this ready. So just select his little shock needle thing you can shoot out. It'll unlock that little uh, laser shield at the top there. So you use the gravel hook, head up here. And once you here, you just open up your chest right here. And it'll either give you your minerals, uh, materials, sorry, or your, um, your leggings. So depending which order you get it in. So it just gave us the materials for the leggings there. Okay, next we're gonna head back to the meditation point just here in the same spot if you haven't uh, already been here yet. So head to the meditation point in the hangar rafters. You wanna head exactly where I'm going now. So you just run past the elevator here, jump across this little gap here, and then you turn right and then right again, and then jump across here, and then climb onto the railings, and then jump through the shield here, head up the side here. You do your little uh, bunny hopping up here and jump onto the next level here jump through the green shields, wall run here, and then do your like Super Mario uh, jumping thing here, all the way up to the top. Once at the top, you get another chest here, but that's not the one we want. There's actually one more we want to get. So this is the, um, the pers persistence grip. So you want to wall run across here, jump up here, and then wall run again. Jump off here and then wall run one more time and then the chest is just down here. And that will give your commander materials. So that's everything guys, so that's the whole lot. So you got your pants, your chest piece, your shirt, and then all you got to do is get your materials which we just got both now. So that's everything guys. So it's just here on the map if this helps at all. Uh, it doesn't really, I don't think so. I don't think it helps at all. Just follow me on the map, on the, the my um, my gameplay here. So just follow it all the way to the point here. It's pretty easy. It's in the same spot um, that uh, we were before. So if I just look down now, so you can see that um, is ex pretty much exactly above where we just jumped across. But I don't think you can get here from here. I think I'm going to die actually. Yeah, I died. <laughs> but that's exactly where we go, guys. So I'll just run back so you guys can see exactly where you go the whole way. Oops. Oh, there we go. Go down. Here we go. We're back to the start again. So it's literally just above where we were before. So I'll run all the way back so you can see exactly where I've been. 
there's the chest piece there that we opened up before and then you jump it back and then we're back into the um the hangar bay here so guys i hope this helped out at all if it did drop a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more jedi survivor so i'll just showcase some of the armor so you can see all the colors now so this is the commander armor the chest piece with the breastplate and pauldrons and this is the red colors which doesn't look too bad you got black the yellow the white and the green but they all look pretty good i, I don't know which one i like the most i kind of think um i might go the, the blue one maybe i don't know then we got the shirt so we'll go through the colors here so let's go back to the start again uh, so we got the white there's like gray yellow the blue one and the green And then we have the um, the pants left. So I'll just put the commander breastplate back on. I'll go down. And then we've got the pants here. So you've got the yellow, the black, black with the stripes, the blue, yellow, and then, yeah. So that's pretty good, and the green one. So it all looks pretty good, guys. So once you get the full outfit, you um you kind of look like a proper soldier, really. Uh, it's definitely like you're like a je Jedi soldier. So <laughs> you look pretty cool. So guys, I hope this helped out. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Jedi Survivor. Bye for now.